John Hurley, our head of communications, did some research and he found an article about the move from the previous building to this one. And the reasons were almost exactly the same. It was about wanting to move into more modern space, that the old space didn't fit the needs of the organization at the time. It was limiting the way they could work. I mean, it's, it was something that, that he or I could have written about, about this move. Amazing things have happened in these buildings, and they're rich with tradition and history. Uh, the Pentagon Papers publishing decision was made here. We've been leaders in civil rights and, and uh, women's rights and LGBT rights. One of the first uh, same-sex marriages in the country uh, happened right here on, on the second floor. So much has happened here. But, you know, we get to take that history with us. Uh, the history is alive and it's with us. It's not part of the building. It, it's part of who we are, is our identity. We've always been a faith movement that looks to the future, that, that sees new possibilities in the future. This is who we are. We're people who look ahead, who innovate, and who sees opportunity. Environmental sustainability is absolutely a part of what we do, and it's a part of what UUA does. If we're only worried about pollution or carbon dioxide or greenhouse gases, reusing an existing building is one of the greenest things you can do. One of the parts of the new headquarters I'm really excited about is our Heritage and Vision Center that we're going to have right as you come in. It's really going to be a showcase where we can show not only our history that we're proud of, but things that are going on now and our aspirations for the future and to make this interactive the way it is in a modern museum. You'll enter into a gathering space, an area that starts to tell the story of UUA, and the stairs that lead up to the chapel are immediately adjacent to that and part of the experience. We feel like the chapel is the heart of the building. We're going to have a chapel that allows us to, uh, to have all kinds of meetings, to be a real center for Unitarian Universalism, to use technology to broadcast what we're doing to all our people in the country. Our new offices are going to be in what has been called uh, Boston's Innovation District. And I, I love that name because it's all about innovation for us. We have an opportunity as Unitarian Universalists to play a far larger role in the life of this country. Uh, the, our values of, of openness and acceptance are really where the culture is going. But we need to adapt and to change in order to take advantage of this opportunity. And to do that, we have to be agile, and that's what this building is gonna let us do. It's gonna let us collaborate in ways that we've never been able to do before. It's gonna have modern technology. Uh, it's gonna allow us to, to have a much more interactive and dynamic organization. It's gonna be a wonderful and engaging place for people of all ages to visit. And I'm hoping that thousands and thousands of you use come and visit their new home once it's ready.